The flow of time is inexorable, relentless. We capture moments in life within the mental fences that we build around them, what we call memory. But try as we may, there remains an infinite number of changes happening in a blink of an eye. The very nature of light and sound is testimony to the mutability of the world. It seems that life is merely a game to catch up with the evanescent and fleeting. Days pass. Clouds come and go. The seasons change. Too many people pass by us every second. Things take on minute alterations, and suddenly, they are not the same as before. At some point, we realize that perhaps all these changes may not be for the better, and that we can no longer let ourselves be drowned in the current of transformations in our respective societies. That is why we came here. We attempt to control the river of global change. First, by observing it, and then gradually, we even dare to alter its speed and to divert it. In our two years' time living in this isolated place, which some call a bubble, but here I would call a pebble, our clocks don't tick at the same rate as the outside world, but sometimes slower and sometimes faster, because we must not be overwhelmed by change itself. We must be able to see beyond it, with either our foresight or hindsight, before we can exert our own impact on this mighty torrent of change that surrounds us.